Good morning, everybody. Hope everyone is coming off of a tremendous Memorial Day weekend. We had a really good one. I got a lot of good stuff done with the dogs. <clears throat> so we're going to start back. I kind of took a, um, I didn't do much on social media, which is kind of nice, actually. But um, we did uh, we did work, and we got a lot of good work in. So I was, uh, I've been up now on this walk for a while. We went all the way down past our three quarter mile mark. We've seen several deer. I just saw a gray fox, which is pretty cool, real close. Um, so there's a lot of animals out this morning. Good morning, Joe. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into it with, with Spry. I'll, first I'll do a, a quick catch up from the weekend. Um, had an excellent session. Good morning, Vicky. Joe was in, um, some people starting to get on. So we're, we're back moving, Ron Herring joined back in. Remember Ron, I'm back. Um, had, I got a lot of really good stuff done um, with the dogs this weekend. I'm gonna move because it says it's weak here. Good morning, Doug. Um, had some real good sessions with Taylor and, and Ellie who have decided to stay, and I'm going to keep them there. That's fine. Um, also got some really nice stuff done with Spry, which was good. Um, she's still teething, so I'm going to give you a shot at that. She's still teething. She's got her canines. They're pushed. They're pushed the little ones. You can see both the adult ones are there. The pup ones just haven't fallen out. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Dan. So, um, she's close. She's real close. We're just waiting for those puppy teeth to fall out. The adults are coming in. So, um, one of the things that I did this weekend, good morning, James. James has had some great progress. James has uh, sent in several videos really nice i've been watching them james i haven't had a chance to respond to all of them i sent a message this morning because when you combine them all together boy you've come a long ways uh keep it up congratulations with that keep it up now um so with with the teething i was able to do a few things um the same old same old this last weekend i did not retrieve yet i'm still waiting but boy i can't wait till because she's been picking stuff up regularly and bringing it to me. Um, she's big into bringing old corn cobs right now that she's finding in our food plot. So Irene, good morning from New Jersey this morning. Um, so Spry has been bringing back stuff. So what it, what it gets me excited about it is I realize how, how ready she is to retrieve. We're not gonna push it. We've waited this long. We'll wait till those last teeth come out. I mean, there's no way that can't be sore. And the last thing I want to do is have her form a habit of dropping stuff. I don't want to see her picking stuff up and dropping it. So, um, and I don't want to see her have a temptation to chew on something. So, uh, we've focused on a lot of our heel work. You guys have watched us with our heel work. I'm going to show you the progress we've made um, today. If you think back to last week, I've put an emphasis on sit to the whistle. And so in order for me to get to sit to the whistle to get good, I had to get her to stop sitting automatically. So she was sitting automatically for me because she had gotten into that habit. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Stacy is in. Mike Clark, good morning. Um, please, again, guys, do me a favor. The, your support is what is going to help grow this thing. So please do me a favor. Share away. Share to someone you think these might help. Um, share them on your page if you would. But with with spry her heel work has gotten so good her sit to the she would sit every time i stopped because we worked on forming that habit and so now i want her to recognize the power of the whistle to sit so the problem i was having it wasn't a problem but the thing i was having was every time i stopped she sat regardless whether i blew the whistle or not and so now i wanted to get her to the point where she did not necessarily sit because I wanted her to understand that just because we stop, we might end up doing something. So I kind of need to keep her in a ready position. I need to keep her athletic. And so I had to work on her. Heel. I had to work on her. 
to keep her feet moving. So I'm gonna spin this around. I'll do it this way so that you can see the big dogs in the back. So I worked with her pretty hard on getting her to keep her feet up. And I wanna show you now, we've been doing that for a couple days. I wanna show you the progress we've made. So she just sat, which is fine. I'm not gonna correct it. I don't have a problem with it. But what I want her to do is I want her to come to a stop. And so I actually, to do that, I never really stopped. I just kept moving, but it was really, really slow motion. So as soon as she would go to sit, I would move. She'd sit, I'd move. She'd sit, I'd move. So I really wanna get her to stop anticipating to just sit and kinda, I think she kinda checks out when she sits. So that's fine because she's extremely patient and I've worked on her building patience and all that stuff. Big flight of geese coming through. So this will be good. Here's a good little steadiness. I died up just for this session. Good. Very good. So we get a little morning from our friends. Um, so that's just another nice little steadiness. Build in. Build in when it happens. Take advantage of those. So, um, so last week I'm trying to get her feet sit. I'm trying to get her feet to stay up. And she's gotten a lot better. So I'm going to show you the progress that she's made with that. Now, the reason I was doing that was because I wanted to make it so that the whistle is crisp to get her to sit. So I'm teaching her to sit to the whistle. I'm going to test the power of the whistle eventually. Right now, I'm just trying to get her to keep her on all fours. So I even get to the point where I stop now and I want her to stay up on all fours. I don't want her moving. I want her kind of mirroring me. So shadowing me. So I move, she moves. I stop, she stops. But it doesn't necessarily mean sit. Because now when I want her to sit, I'll get the whistle involved. So try. Yeah. You know she's always going to stretch. See that difference? Now, last week, midweek, she wouldn't do that. She'd sit every time I slowed down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. There she tried. I'm really getting picky now on her bend again with her body. You see how I caught her toe there. Now that she's not sitting on me. Come on. She tried to. Come on. Good. There she gets good. Come on.
Boy, we just about got ran over by a deer there. See that deer run off there? That deer just about ran us over. So these guys really woke up. I don't know if it didn't see us or something, or something was chasing it, but it came running out of here. I didn't notice it, and it just came flying through, so another good distraction. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Garlock is in, good morning. Brian Jackson's in. Um, Brian, you're up in Canada hunting, it sounds like. Jeff Trudell, good morning. So that was exciting, too. So all sorts of little built-in distractions this morning. Um, so... What I was working on is now I'm able to do more left turns too because now she doesn't have the tendency to want to sit so I'm working in a little bit more left turns. I was so focused on her because she's really been she's really been sniffing my knee late this morning. She's really sniffing on my jeans. So I'm, I'm bumping her. I don't want her doing that. So I'm bumping her. Bumping her with my knee. Bumping her off. Bumping her off. Bumping her off. She's got to get, she's got to give me my space. I can't let her, I'm not going to let her crowd me. Yep. There. See how nice that was? She's not going to crowd me. Moving nice though. Now I'm going to come into the sit. Good. Good. Now I wasn't looking at her, I was looking at her in the camera. Because I don't necessarily want her to see me for this. I want her to, I want to peep the whistle and I want her to sit. And when I see her sit, I'm going to say good. I don't, she's going to look to me every time. And I don't want to have to always be making eye contact with her to sit, but as soon as she does, I'm still going to reward that. So I don't have to stare her down to get her to sit to the whistle. I don't want to. So when I come up to a stop and I peep the whistle to sit, I either will catch her out of the corner of my eye, or like this time I saw it on the on the camera. And when she does, I correct, I, pr I praise it right at the right time. Spry, heal. Because now I want the whistle to overpower Testing her. I got some deer across the road in front of us. Good. Good. Heel. Heel. Now that one was really slow and methodic. And I'm gonna sp I'm gonna work to speed that up. You know, she's really slowed down on me now. You know.
Now she's hanging so far back, I'm not gonna do anything until she speeds up. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna do a little reverse heel because she's just sluggish. Now, things are getting sticky. So she's really hanging up. Those two just broke off when I started peeping the whistle. That doesn't surprise me. But she is, so she's confused. I can just see she's confused right now. She doesn't know if she should sit, she should walk, she should do this. So she's really just shutting down. So now I'm just, now I gotta get her confidence back. Now I'm just gonna heal, regular. Spry, heal. So she's real hesitant. She's got she's become real hesitant. Spry heel. And it's getting a little long. I'm gonna pick this up. Ellie, come on. Spry, come on. Or Ellie. Taylor, come on. Come on. Ellie. Good. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Good girls. Spry heel. We're just gonna keep moving. Because I'm really gonna just try to figure out. I'm gonna loosen her up. She's real hesitant. Good. Spry. Ellie, go ahead. Go ahead, Taylor. Good. Good. Very good. Yeah. Go ahead, Taylor. Good. Morning, Trevor, Jason Erickson. Good morning. Sit. Good. Heel. Come. Good. Go ahead. Let's go. Good. Very good. Yep. Good. Good. That's it. That's it. Very good. Yep. Good girl. 
It's very good. So you can see, I'm going to spin this around. Good morning, Wyatt Anderson. I'm going to spin this around, guys. See if I can handle this. So I've changed this a little bit. Now, you'll see the power of the whistle. Single blast and Ellie's sitting. Good. We're working her on it. Ellie's reacting to it. Ellie, here. Ellie. Ellie. Good. Good girl. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Very good. Very good. See. So, all right, let's go. Let's go, Ellie. I'm gonna set my tripod back up here so I can carry it. Because I'm gonna finish this out by just walking and getting a good pace, a good tempo, a good confident pace with Spry. And I'll catch her on a couple sit to the whistles. Here. Ellie, let's go. Taylor, let's go, let's go. So these two can go, do their thing. Let's go. Fries on heel. Let's go. Good. Nice little check with their eyes. Good. Very good. Now I stopped and she didn't sit, which is great. I want her to do that. Very good. So two in a row, and now we incorporate the whistle. Good. Good. And these two freeze. Good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Very good. So you can see it's taken. Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. It's taken her loosening up. Heel. I've had to loosen her up with just taking a walk here. That's where the camera and the formality get in the way. Very good. Very good. Ellie, come on. Ellie. Come on. Yeah. Ellie, come on, hurry up. See, she got out of heel. I wasn't ready to correct her. Good. Good. Very good. Heel. Good. Good. So there. I'm going to end it with that because I'm real happy with the change that I just got out of her by just kind of loosening her up, getting her going, and then stopping her to the whistle. So um, that I'm more than satisfied with. We're again working on that sit to the whistle. Oh, someone got into something that was rolling. That's where she was. Um, all right, so you guys, Tuesday, it's a short week. So what are your plans this week? Um, we are gonna continue until these teeth come out doing what we're doing. Um, I did a little hunt command with her this weekend. I mowed. Here's the nice part about being able to mow. I mowed some really nice spots. I'm going to post pictures of them. Hunt command areas, little squares, the left grass taller. I did it with her last night. I sprinkled a couple handfuls of uh, her food into it and I let her work it and I just gave her her hunt command. Um, those are pretty soon, those are going to be used as soon as she's retrieving. 
I'm going to use those areas to do hunt commands with tennis balls, scented tennis balls, um, different bumpers. So I got that in. I got some really nice hand work, hand signal work in with um, Ellie. Took made some nice progress, and Taylor took some really nice lines for me this weekend. Um, and we we did some memory work with her um, on some on some uh, bumpers that we had elevated up in the tree. So she had to work up into. We're back. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, we worked on a lot of steadiness while we were doing gardening, while we were doing lawn mowing. We had the dogs just sitting and watching for long extended periods of time. So we really built training into the rest of our life here this weekend. So uh, what's your plans this week? Ours are going to continue to forge forward with the same, same thing we've been doing. So you guys have a great week. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow morning. We're traveling towards the end of the week, so we're going to see what we can do from the road as well. So uh, have a great morning, and we'll talk to you guys soon.